Economic Development Minister Maxim Reshevnikov announced that Russia has put forth a proposal to establish a reciprocal arrangement with India. This arrangement would enable tourists from both countries to travel visa-free when they are part of organized group visiting each other's nation. Additionally, commencing from August 1, Russia has initiated the issuance of electronic visas to holders of Indian passports. The e-visa system expedits the approval process for various travel purposes like business trip, guest visit and tourism. The question stands, where is this aiming at? Hi everybody, the decision to implement visa-free travel arrangement or streamline visa processes for specific countries is typically based on the combination of diplomatic, economic, political and strategic factors. In the case of Russia's decision to facilitate travel for Indian citizens, several reasons could contribute to this choice. Number 1. India and Russia have historically shared strong diplomatic ties and cooperation in various fields including defense, energy and culture. Strengthening people-to-people -people connections through simplified travel could further enhance these relations. Number 2. If India had already introduced favorable visa policies for Russian citizens, Russia's decision could be a reciprocal gesture aimed at maintaining balanced diplomatic relations. Number 3. Russia might perceive India as a promising market for tourism. The large population and growing middle class in India could make it a significant source of potential tourists who would contribute to Russia's tourism revenue. Number 4. India and Russia have shared cultural affinities with historical connections dating back to the Soviet era. This shared history and cultural familiarity could make Russia an attractive destination for Indian travelers. Number 6. India's economy has been growing steadily and its citizens increasing disposable income might make them more likely to travel abroad. Russia could be looking to tap into this potential market by offering easier travel options. India is a member of various international forums and alliances. Strengthening ties with India could have a broader strategic implications for Russia's global standing. Number 7. Russia might see value in strengthening its relationship with countries that are not necessarily aligned with Western powers. Strengthening ties with India could be a part of this broader geopolitical strategy. Number 8. Promoting tourism between two countries can also serve as a soft power tool to improve global perception and influence. The financial aspect behind Russia's decision to facilitate travel from India are not publicly disclosed and could involve a variety of motivations. Some potential factors might include like tourism revenue. Russia could anticipate a significant increase in tourism revenue from the Indian tourists. The Indian middle class is growing and they may have a disposable income for the international travel. Then you have diversifying tourism market. By focusing on attracting tourists from country like India, Russia might be aiming to diversify its tourism market and reduce dependency on tourists from specific regions. Then it is economic collaboration. Strengthening tourism ties with India might also open up opportunities for other economic collaborations such as joint ventures in tourism-related industry. Improving accessibility for tourists can enhance Russia's international image as a welcoming destination. A positive image can lead to increased tourism not only for India but also for other countries. This move might be a form of tourism diplomacy aimed at fostering close ties with India and improving overall diplomatic relations. By promoting tourism, Russia can project its culture, history and attractions to a global audience thereby enhancing its soft power and influence. Remember that decisions in international relations are complex and influenced by a combination of political, economical, social and strategic factors. While financial considerations are undoubtedly a part of the equation, they are just one aspect of the larger decision-making process. Furthermore, the case underscores the economic dimension of international relations. By streamlining travel procedures, Russia aims to tap into India's growing middle class population as potential tourists. This demonstrates the integrate interplay between economic consideration, tourism and diplomatic initiatives. Learners can glean insight into the concept of tourism diplomacy, recognizing how countries utilize soft power strategies to enhance their global image and forge deeper connections.
Overall, the case study illustrates the interconnectedness of diplomacy, economics, and strategic consideration. Learners can draw lessons about the power of soft diplomacy, the economic benefits of fostering international relationship, and the norms motivation that shape bilateral agreements. By understanding these factors, learners can better comprehend the integrated tapestry of international affairs and the complexities involved in building and maintaining diplomatic relations hope you like the video let's unlock together your full potential and achieve remarkable success in the world of business if you are new to the channel do like share and subscribe for more such content related to business and finance till then goodbye everyone